to everybody. I'm extremely excited for this new episode of Rams Zastro. So you can see what the video is about by the title and the thumbnail. I admit, today is the day after I filmed my channel update and it's the day of the channel update. So I didn't think to be filming this soon after it. But I mentioned that my girl, my partner uh, ordered me something Ghostbusters and it would be here at some point through the week. And she wanted me to do a review on it, but not an unboxing. But now that I see what it is, I'm doing an unboxing and a review. So let's have a quick swatch. So this arrived in the mail. So it's a big Hasbro Toys action figures. And I can see what it is already. It's Plasma Series Neutrona Wand. Oh, I've already spoken to on the phone. I'm extremely, extremely happy with this. So I've not even opened this to see what the packaging looks like. So I've been sitting waiting for my phone to charge so I can use it to film. So let's get this bad boy opened up. I'm just going to do a jump cut. Just because I, I want to take my time doing this. Because I don't want to damage anything. So you know what? I'm just going to film this while I wait. I may speed this up. So there could be some music over this. <laughs> Yeah, so the speeding up must be almost done now. So, oh, 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 look at that. Oh, I can see it. So, let me just do a jump cut now. And we'll get this bad boy out. Oh my god, I am loving this packaging. It's made to look like some sort of big toolbox. So, before, while I was waiting for my phone to charge and make this video and open it up, I, I basically sat and watched a bunch of Spangler Wand videos. And from what I've learned watching a Ghostbusters news video, this box is made to look like a box in the new Ghostbusters Afterlife movie that the Neutrona wand is found in. So you can see here, you know what, I'll just do, sit this here and I'll do some jump cut close-ups while I'm speaking. So it's made to look like this, so you can see that it's made to have this khaki Ghostbusters uniform. On the top there is that simplistic art design which has been on a lot of the Plasma series toys. And on the back we can see what we're got a mind in here so you can see it. you can extend the stream it's got four modes and it's got an adjust intensify and you get a picture of that and on the bottom just got some foreign legal gibberish so before i get this opened up i will do a jump cut for that obviously let me just say i've never held a replica proton wand i've never even wore a replica proton pack it is on the bucket list to own one so i'm getting closer i'm getting extremely closer thanks to my partner so the closest i've ever got is my ghostbusters backpack from when i was a child this is it as you can see i'm much too big for it now you know it still feels good in the hand but i think that could just be because i am used to it so I had it upside down a moment ago it could just be because i'm used to it but this is all i've ever held so I'm buzzing to get this opened up. So let me just do a jump cut and we will have a look. Right, so I've got it out the box. I've put the batteries in. I haven't fired it up yet. I've built this display stand. And holy hell, I love this thing. I love it so much. I love it. I love it. So I've not fired it up yet. So as I said, the only thing I've ever held before is the real Ghostbusters Kenner Proton Pack toy gun before. And as always, as a child, you would pretend you're... Hoover nozzle or things was a proton one, neutrona one. So it is. See how this bad boy feels. This is a bit weird as I am left handed and you have to kind of hold it with your right. So let's get this booted up. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it vibrates. And let's get. Let me just uh, jump cut to a wider angle. Right, so I've cut to a wide as angle as possible. So let's put this bad boy back up. Let's... And let's fire this beast off. Oh, that's amazing. 
So as you can see here, I've got it in pretty much, had it on a second wall setting, but you can intensify your beam. So I'm not sure if you can hear that vibrating, I'll put my microphone closer. But yeah, it gets more intense. And but yeah, that is great. I'm absolutely loving this. Loving this, loving this. Let's pull down. Oh, I love that. Right, so what I'm going to do is that. Let's back on the stand. What I'm going to do is I'm going to. As I've done the unboxing, I'm going to spend some time with it, maybe spend the next couple of hours fiddling about with it, playing with it, see how I feel about it, then I'll come back and record the review. So I'll jump cut to a few hours time, or possibly tomorrow. Toodle pip! <laughs> That has got to be the biggest jump cut I've ever done. That was all filmed on the 6th of September and it is now the 18th of October. Things just kind of got away from me. I didn't have a chance to film anything. Didn't have a chance to do anything. I've got a little backlog of stuff I need to get around to filming. But yeah, that was a, that was quite a long jump cut. So I've had some time to play with this, play about with this. I've had people have a look at it and stuff and it's great. I'm absolutely in love with it so I'm um, not much more that I can say that I don't say that uh, one thing I am going to change though is this stupid rubber tape I'm going to have this cut off and replaced so my friend Drew has has already done it that's how long this jump cut has been he's already 3d printed me a handle piece to go in there once this is cut off then I can wrap it up so that'll be a short video at some point that will be a very short video i may wrap up this so yeah overall i will love this this thing i may replace this clip art at some point with a real one i'm going to change this button at some point so instead of having like one long mod video i'll probably do little little update videos as i change them because i'm not going to do it all at once it'll be when and wet when i've got time and what i think of it but yeah i have had fun i've been running about like a nut job in my flat once i've had when i do get time busting ghosts just just that i love the weight of it i can't wait to have a proton pack to actually attach it to so that will be getting done so yeah so this is great i'm so happy to have this my collection it looks great sitting on my shelf beside my pke meter i still don't have anywhere to display my trap yet because it's quite big and clunky it doesn't really fit anywhere but i will have somewhere but this is great so if you're thinking of getting yourself a proton oh, Getting yourself a proton pack or just even this, I highly recommend it. I got, well, I didn't get it, my missus got me this. And I'm still so grateful for it, I'm so happy. It looks great. And it's in the, well, the month and a week or so since I've had this, it's been fantastic. So there's a few little things that I will be updating, as I said, like the, the buttons that I may give it a bit of a better paint job but these will just be little things that I will do over time it's not something I'm going to do in one go it's just when I've got the time that I'll take care of that today I'll do that next week so expect little update videos I'm really really happy with this it's it's a nice centerpiece for my collection it's not my favorite piece because as everybody knows I love the ghost trap not just because of it, it's one of my favorite Ghostbusters pieces of equipment I think once this is attached to a proton pack though, it will be my favourite piece, once it's a full set. But until then, this is what it's going to be like. I mean, I may even paint this stand to make it look a bit more metal rather than just, it looks very plastic at the moment. It looks very, very plastic. I'm still annoyed that the logo is facing that way rather than this way, because this is a better display. Because if you turn it this way, it's a bit boring. It's a bit boring, so I prefer, I'm just going to leave that there, so yes, I'm just going to leave that there, that, thanks for watching, thanks for putting up with such a big jump cut, and if you're new to the channel, hit us with a like, we've got more Ghostbusters videos, we've got ga video game videos, videos in various, various random subjects, and if you're a vintage viewer, thanks for coming back, and as always, don't forget, have a gidgeon.